This could destroy the $100 billion back pain industry. Well, why do we have a $100 billion back pain industry? It's uh, in part because of the number of people that are suffering from this condition and how long that pain uh, tends to go on. Uh, but it's also because of the number of different treatments that have been applied to it. And as I said, supplements, pharmaceuticals, manual treatments, invasive treatments, devices, surgery, all of which uh, tend to be uh, expensive, but most of which turn out not to have much more than a placebo or control group value. So people don't get dramatically better. So they keep looking for new devices or surgeries or supplements or manual treatments. And that just simply drives up the cost. And the reason these treatments tend not to work very well is that the majority of back pain, 88% in fact, according to a recent study, is not because of structural damage to the back. It's actually generated by the brain.